Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Guns Locked. I'm Gun the Great, and today we're doing a little update on Lil Uzi Vert's dreadlocks. Now, Lil Uzi Vert did switch it up a little bit, and he dyed his whole head red, which he has done this before, but this is like bright red. So I found a few photos that we could take a look at him and see what he actually did to his hair. So in these photos that were revealed on his Instagram, which he posted, looks like he just bleached his hair and then dyed it like usual. And it's weird how his hair isn't all the way red completely. So I thought that was kind of weird. I feel like that goes with a lot of people who dye their hair red when they bleach it and then dye it red because I've I personally, same thing. <laughs> I've dyed my hair red before. I bleached it and dyed it red and then it just didn't seem like the whole hair had coverage. And I'm not sure what the deal is on that, but like some spots were orange, some spots were red. And then I don't know, maybe he went for that look or maybe it's just red hair dye. That really doesn't allow your hair to actually just turn all the way red. Not sure. But as you can see in this photo, some of his hair is like beet red. Some of his hair is dark red. Some of his hair is orange some of it is like yellow so it's hard telling whether it's the fault of the hair dye or the fault of the person or maybe he was just going for that look we don't know and it is a little easy for it so he probably was most definitely going for this look or maybe it did happen by accident i don't know and the maintenance i do see on his hair is that he's braiding it to keep in the twists and as you guys do see recently he has been twisting his hair so i think that's what he has been doing for sure moving on to a closer photo you can just see that little orange spot on the top of his head and it almost looks intentional now that he got kind of closer but one thing i did want to point out is that his hair is twisted and it is braided and we're not exactly sure what he's doing with the sides of his hair because the sides of his hair are actually grown out in this picture and he could have done that just to get a fade right after so that the hair is like actually all red instead of like getting a fade first and then bleaching it and then dyeing it and then having like black spots where the fade will be coming in but i think we all can agree that this is a really interesting look of the louise vert something new but kind of not really but one thing we can add is his hair type you can see that he does have probably a 4b or a 4c hair type he could even be dipping down to the 4A because if you look at the tips of his hair, especially during the earlier stages of his dreadlocks, they were a little swirly, so that could be a 4A. But I don't believe that he's in the 3s at all. And I already told you the method that he used to get his dreadlocks, and I'm pretty sure that was the twisting method. And one thing I have noticed is that he lets his hair get messy, and then he twists it, and then he lets it get messy, then he twists it again. And that is a routine that a lot of people with dreadlocks will do, just to keep up with maintenance, but then also not spend too much time on it. But it still looks good when he gets it done. Over time, say you don't maintain your hair for like two months, it takes less time for your hair to actually unravel if you twist it or come out if you crochet hooked it and that just means you're gonna have to speed up and do more maintenance on your hair if that makes sense but y'all that's a little Uzi Vert update hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did like the video also subscribe if you guys haven't already comment down ammunition if you're part of the gang i'll see you guys next time peace